Hey guys, what's up? It's Catherine, and I am at Strong Rocks right now, and this is a co-working space in Atlanta where I have my studio. This is where I make all of my art and film all of my videos. So I just wanted to give you guys a studio tour for 2016. I might not be here next year, so let's just get started. Okay, so we're outside right now. Before we go in, this is what you see when you walk into my little artist pod stylish back and that's my coffee table and my rug my refrigerator that used to be inside and then this is my wall outside my office i've had this little sign that says art and then usually a larger painting that's in progress that is a little bit too large sometimes to fit in the office <sighs> just a variety of things that are like crafty French curves, so this is more architectural stuff. This one is extra things for my lights that are inside. And oil paint from high school. These are for my marker, my cheap art supply challenge. Some stickers and going inside. Okay, there's a couple bags if I like need a shopping tote or if I just need to bring a lot of things home or whatever. Mama got me this one for Christmas. How pretty is that? And I have my purse on the bottom, lights here, my heat gun, gas mask. These are both for an caustic camera. I haven't really filled this up quite yet, but just um, because I have now more places and things to put. But look how great this is. My tripod just sits on here. Oh god, perfectly. I have my little new camera, and this is a roll of graphite paper that I just picked up so I could work on a new commission that would draw the painting that's on the wall outside. There's going to be a video coming up after I have it all complete of all the steps that I took to make that painting. I have this painting hanging on the wall. I used to have it on my easel, but I moved my easel onto the other side of the room. It took up a little bit too much of the room. Here is the old drafting tabletop that I had on my table before I brought my drafting table out. This is printmaking paper and black paper put your paper kind of things and then two drawing boards this one has a clip on it and that one is just a um masonite board my oil painting table here's my palette box i'm not going to open this because i'm i have so many videos of this open you don't need to see what it is it's all just grays right now because that's what i'm working on and then i have these pots of paint brushes so these are all tall brushes these are oh sorry these are all short brushes, mats in the wrong place. This is just tools that I use for paintings. They're in this little cute jar. So these are the paint brushes that I'm using currently. They are clean in terms of not wet with full of oil paint, but they're not clean fully that they haven't been like cleaned off with like soap and water and stuff. And then I got this from the dollar store, this little cute bin. It was more recently that I got this, but it just holds all of my um grays values and i keep them in here upside down so that the oil will settle to the top instead of instead of right here where the lid is so i have my white and the black and then these are all the gray values and if you want to watch that video of filling paint tubes because like i said i made all of these paint tubes you can click here gamsol so that's my odorless mineral spirits and it's on this like table that's specifically for painting. I think my dad got this for himself, or maybe for me, I can't remember. Back when I was in high school, though, I used it when I was painting in 11th grade. <sighs> movie cart, not really. It's my, I like watch Netflix on my computer. It's a great cart thing that moves around a lot wherever I need it to go. Hooks that I used to have tapes on, but now the tapes are in this bin. Um, all of my tapes, I put all of them in here, just because I wanted everything to be in one spot, because I have a bin, a bin just for adhesives but now i have it been just for tapes some tape up here nail polish remover because i didn't i spend a lot of time here so i do my nails here my mom made this okay i'll show you so i chose the fabrics and she just made it so this is actually purple it looks blue on camera but it's fully purple and then this is like a teal and then these are little purple flowers inside of trees and stuff and then it's just a big i had it upside down she made it upside down i think i can't remember um strathmore sketchbook staples office and stuff, cash and for the vending machine downstairs, extra CDs, and my old camera. The tripod that my light is on, super bright on top, 
There's gloves, jars, things that look kind of nice. This is all erasers right here. They're just like crafty paintbrushes. There's a jar of metal and sand or sawdust and acrylic dust. Just things that I collected from like Luke's studio downstairs. A tea jar of, look, medium cups. Wood cutting tools that are in this little bamboo thing. My apron roll of paper towels or blue paper towels. These are like fabric -y for oil painting. Painting cleaner, extra paper towels, hookah, sketchbooks that are full, sketchbooks that are empty. This is extra stuff, a brayer, dust mask. Any questions from you guys? A tub of gesso, a tub of black gesso, types of paint right here, the odorless mineral spirits, paint tubes because I need to fill my white and black again, a giant thing of master soap, all of my paints. And down there, I will be doing like an old painting supply list of like all the things that you need when you're first starting oil painting. Um, these are just oil paints that I got as like free samples or just overstock a certain one. Free samples, free samples, glass palette, and then the white palette paper. So these are all mediums. Um, also gesso for my watercolor, like watercolor gesso and encaustic gesso. So. These are all just like stuff for like stretching canvas. These are staples for my staple gun for stretching canvas. And more staples. These are my art books. This is a thing that's now all like messed up. It's mostly just like drawing stuff. Or just extra stock. Oh look, more erasers. I thought I had all of them up there, but I guess not. This is not even open yet. From the Everything I Know About Erasers video, Conte white pencils, blades. I guess this is just like refill stock. They're all different hardnesses of leads, different sizes of the leads, and red and blue leads. I used to do a lot of charcoal drawing. I would use this sand. I, I bought this for the sandpaper block, but I don't think I've opened it yet. Bags, packing materials, bags to give people at like. Uh, if I do like an art show or something, just empty containers, so I mean that's palette, empty palette. Three canvases right there. That's my longboard. I made this thing from a Pinterest pin. Conte, graphite pencils, paint markers, more paint markers, pencils and things that I use regularly. This little thing just has my hand wipes and blue paper towels white paper towels it's hanging on the wall how cool is that i can sit my chair and just reach up and grab it but i need it then um, i hung things that i use regularly so a 12 inch ruler the brush and then some smaller triangles put it back on that was surprisingly easy and then a whole bunch technical pens and copic multi-liners colored pens and gel pens and then the triplis settlers and I just have some tools up here and then I have some scissors. These are all like within reaching range. And then I put a little magnet magnet strip and all these little just, um, this is like my to-go bag to put little things in, like sketching or whatever if I'm going someplace. That's what my desk looks like. That's my chair blanket because I get cold. My drafting table's on there. And I have the light table out right now because I'm working on something. My little hedgehog that grows mint. Not light. And then again, I have hooks that I've hung. I know it's hard to see, but that's a triangle. 18 inch ruler, a right triangle, my drawing bridge. I know it's clear, it's hard to see. And then a 24 inch ruler. A cutting mat. She won light table. Nail polish. Office y type things. So pencil sharpener, just notes, glue sticks, extra leads, lotion. These are all ink pens. These are all just like pencils. I mean, those are highlighters, obviously. Drawing board. My older cutting that. A 
I don't even know what this is called. Cutting thing? I don't know. Notebook for, oh, that's cool. Notebook for notes and that kind of thing. Phone is plugged in. Put the small of the cord down here to the power strip. And on top of the easel is some canvases that I purchased. The ones that are wrapped are things that I bought. So two of those, but I made this one, made this one. And back there is another canvas that I purchased in round canvas panels. Just, ooh, that noise. Just had this one myself, bought that one. A larger canvas. And right here, those empty holes hold that can used to hold the canvas that is now outside. Down here is just various types of paper, tracing paper, black paper. This is just paper samples, some watercolor pads. What is that one? Kristen. These are 18 by 24 pads. So that's what this wall looks like, but it's just stuff for packaging orders. And these are my movies in case the internet's not working. Hot plates and a griddle for encaustic. And here is my printmaking stuff. Not really gonna get into that not really that interesting. And this is gouache, acrylic paint, some tote bags, acrylic paint that I use quite often, and acrylic gesso. Next to that is all my watercolor stuff. So down in this one, watercolor palettes and brushes. St. Petersburg watercolor, Windsor & Newton, liquid watercolor. That is all hardened. So we're gonna take that. These are all just like really old watercolors that I've got. Cotman, Cotman, fine liners. These are like my more used in here. Fine tech. All of my core. Masking fluid. I hate opening this, but it's just all my adhesives. Hot glue guns, fixatives, Mod Podge. This is my encaustics. So, and little encaustic mediums in here, and then all of my tools for encaustic. You guys, look out for an encaustic video coming up. I'm going to be doing two, and probably one week will be the week of encaustic. So, I'll have all the supplies that you need for encaustic and how to get started. And then I'll have one video of like a little encaustic speed paint. I have oil pastels and soft pastels. It's like Caran d'Ache and Rembrandt pan pastels. I don't have any any. And then below that is soft pastels. Another thing is soft pastels and some old school and old school um, oil pastels. Blending stuff for oil pastels, right, for soft pastels and for the pan pastels. And then this is all like charcoal drawing and stuff. Charcoal, more pastel stuff, more charcoal, and charcoal and graphite. Topic markers. This is my topic markers. I don't see why people don't use this. This is great. So handy. And look, I just put a little piece of paper in here to separate. I just got these neon marker challenge video and all of my personal color markers. And it looks like there's like two chart pack markers in there. I have no idea how I got those. What could it be? Oh, aerosol. So I only have like three Montreal. I just have like gray, black, and white. All my tattooing stuff. I'm not going to get too much into that because I showed all of this when I got it in one of my art hauls. This is an in the wrong spot render sketchbook. So, I mean, I have obviously haven't done too much in it. And in here, should be just acrylic. It's just those little dollar acrylic things you get from my kids or whatever. Acrylic mediums still, if you leave them on their side. Ooh, and this is super cool. Chroma Crackle. Here's my printer. 
wood burning stuff and i do have a video about wood burning so i can link that too and that's what those are back there is just a bunch of picture frames 10 of them polymer clay and i have a video about all that already so i can link that too here is all my snacks <laughs> nutella and like banana chips and like soy sesame nut and then that's just sitting on top of this wood stuff and then there's my little pasta machine and then i have just like more crafty stuff and in this corner we have the vacuum and the broom and matting stuff so i like to mat paintings and frames and then my roll of butcher paper that i use for my tables an art tube that has some art from high school and some fancy papers and a holder for my lights these are my rolls of extra canvas because i stretch my own canvas this is my other other desk for encaustics two portfolios from high school or from college some college coursework this is what i turned in when i was applying for the bfa program my heater and fan so up here on top we have printer paper extra printer paper just regular uh, construction paper scrapbooking paper that kind of thing all my inking stuff so like ink pens dip pens dry drawing stuff it's like pencils watercolor pencils which i guess isn't really dry prism color pencils toned gray creed color and wet stuff so like markers watercolor markers other kinds of markers pens bit pens that kind of things electronics so my recorder which i should be using right now extra battery this is an extra hard drive my toothbrush and stuff because i'm here all the time so sketchbooks tiny sketchbooks, little paper samples. This is like card cards, more sketchbooks, a zinc play at all. T square up here, as well as some folders with like reference photos and stuff in here. A clip that I put my keys on. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I make a video every Wednesday and every Saturday. I'll see you guys then.